in this lecture we will talk about standardized work chart we talked about a few different ways in which standard work can be created or in other words the prerequisites for standard work which is the visual sop at the end can be created so standardized work chart is one of those most important tools that i felt you should know if you're working in manufacturing and it is largely used in the context of a machining cell of course you can also use it in the context of a non cellular manufacturing scenario but it would be more relevant and useful when you use it in this scenario so what is a standardized work chart it is a visual representation of the layout of the equipment the cycle time the sequence in which the work happens where the work in progress inventory is stored and how much and the other factors such as these relating to the standard work